How to customize Steam profile. Hi everyone, welcome back. This is a video tutorial on how to customize Steam profile. For this video, we will be using my MacBook Air and we will be using the Steam application. You may also opt to use the browser by going to steamcommunity.com and log in with your credentials. But without further ado, let's get started. There's so many ways to customize your Steam profile and you can simply just tap on edit profile right here and you should see the following options. So as you can see on this page, I have the option to, gener to edit the general information such as my name. I can even customize my URL and change my location. And yeah, it's very easy to edit this. Just simply click on the box you want to edit. Let's say my profile name. We can just simply change it to my real name if I want to. I can even change my location if I want. And make sure to tap on save down here once you are done in order for you to save those changes. You can also click on avatar to change your profile picture. So as you can see, I have quite a few avatars here from all the stuff I purchased from the games I've been playing. But if you don't have any, uh, down here under your avatars, you can just simply upload your avatar. So this will open up your gallery on your laptop or MacBook, and then you can just choose a photo from there. So I'm not going to change this one because I love my avatar, but if you did change yours, just simply make sure you save that as well. Now going on to our next option here on this side, we have profile background. So just simply click on profile background. So it's basically this part right here on your profile. And as you can see, mine is currently set to default. But yeah, uh, since I've been playing a few games as well and purchased some stuff here, I have a few options to choose from. And if you're not seeing anything here, uh, don't worry, just keep on playing, keep buying stuff from your Steam account, and eventually you will, you will earn these backgrounds. So I've been playing Counter-Strike, so I can choose this. And then, as you can see, there's a preview up here, so you can see how it actually looks like. You can even change it to full screen if you want it to kind of zoom in a little. And once satisfied, just simply tap or click on save. And now let's move on to mini profile. So this is what mini profile is. And currently I have no option to change how it looks like. I don't know. I guess it's just because I'm still on level 10. I haven't really played a lot yet. That's why I don't have any options here. But we can go to theme. And this is basically this area, the color of this area here where your profile is. So mine is currently set to default, but you can change it to summer, midnight, and whatever is your preference really. But I think summer looks best with my current background. So I'm just going to pick that and click on save. So very simple. Um, but now let's try to just take a look at how it looks like. Let's go back to my profile here. And as you can see, it now changed to this. So it's a lot brighter than how it used to look like. And if you want to make more changes, don't worry, just click on edit profile. And then let's proceed to all our next, uh, to all the other options here. We have featured badge. Featured badge is that badge that is currently showing on your profile. And mine currently have the pillar of community. So you can earn badges by doing many things, really, by completing tasks such as this one, pillar of community. I, com I got this badge by completing different tasks on my Steam account, such as adding some friends and so many other ones. And you can even purchase some stuff on the market and it'll give you badges like Global Sentinel or Light. And yeah, I recommend going on YouTube and looking up ways on how to craft badges in order for you to earn these. And just simply select from uh, one of the badges available to you once you have them and click on save. So I changed mine to Global Sentinel and if I go to my profile, this is how it looks like. As you can see below my level, uh, the featured badge is Global Sentinel. And you can see all of my other badges right here. So if you hover on them, you can even see 
uh, how many tasks I completed to get this badge and uh, can I level up on this ba on this badge and all of the other ones too. You can hover on them and get more information as well. Now going back to our edit profile options, just below the featured badge, you should see featured showcase, this one. So, you, by the way, you won't really see this if you haven't reached level 10 just yet. So, as of the moment, I'm already level 10. And so, I have, heard, I have earned one slot for a showcase on my profile. And you get to earn another every time you level up by 10 levels. So, by level 20, you get another one. And by level 30, you get another one. And so on and so forth. And there's a lot of uh, things you can showcase on your profile. When you click on this drop down, you will see the list. So you can um, add a featured artwork showcase, awards showcase, and so on and so forth. So uh, if you want your account to look like this or like this, uh, these people or this, these accounts are basically like level 60 or level 40 already that they have the ability, the ability to add th these really cool showcase. But if you're starting, you can uh, start off with uh, featuring or showcasing your favorite game or maybe your salient stats like this one for example i can edit this i can add some eyes and whatnot but to save some time i'm not gonna do that but if you ever decide to just make sure you click on save here and i'm just gonna tap on or click on save here and when you go to my profile, uh, this is how it will look like. So this is where, where these showcases will appear. So this is how my profile looks like now. But again, you can still edit or change the showcase to however you want. And if you don't really have the time to level up or you, and you still want your account to look good, you can just go to store and go to points shop. So you will earn these points the more you spend money on the market under our community market right here but let me just show you how you can level up your profile and customize your profile by going here so all you have to do is go under profile items so as you can see we have avatars backgrounds game profiles and showcases so if you want to buy some really cool avatars just go here you can even buy some avatar frames and if you want some cool backgrounds as well just simply go here and select uh, whatever uh, is best for you like this one for example you can just click on that as you can see I currently don't have any balance but you can scroll down and you have the option to check on how to get points now I'm gonna cancel that because I'm gonna go here under showcases. So I mentioned earlier that you can only have a slot for showcase every time you level up by 10 levels, which is true. But if you don't wanna do that, you can just simply purchase a showcase slot uh, from our points shop. But again, you have to spend money in order to do this. So as you can see, we have the option to buy a slot for an artwork showcase here so all of these really cool accounts like the ones i showed you earlier it's all just a matter of a really really cool artwork they made and a background that matches it so if you ever decide to purchase some showcase here like this one for example remember that it's only the slot you are purchasing and not the artwork itself so you still have to edit that artwork and from there you can just follow the steps I showed you earlier on how to add this to your profile. So there's a lot of video tutorials on YouTube available on how you can make these artworks. But from there, you can just once again go back to your profile and then just tap on edit or change showcase here. Or you can tap on edit profile first and change it from there instead. But those are your options on how to customize your Steam profile. If you found this video helpful, please let us know in the comments below. Like this video and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.